This lesson on T-Accounts is the first of two lessons that cover transaction recording systems used in accounting. We focus most of our attention, as you will in your classes, on financial statements. But you need to understand at some level where these financial statements come from, what activities that the business is engaged in that they represent at a high level. So although much of accounting is automated in practice, and MBA students will largely not be working on individual transactions, your accounting course content will force you to get into the details of the basic logical processes that happen for standard transactions and the judgment calls that need to be made for non-typical transactions. In any area, certain things are black and white, we'll focus on them in this lesson, but other things are more gray areas. Those are the kinds of things that lead to the conversations you see in the business press about accounting scandals, where judgment calls were made or the law was evaded in various ways, which raise ethical issues. Here we'll just be focused in on the logic. What are the recording systems? And we'll work you through a series of transactions, typical things like a company selling a product, borrowing money, buying supplies, paying its workers, and make sure that you understand how to represent those physically in the transaction recording systems. In this case, the T account you'll learn is a basic way of representing transactions and has a logical visual representation of one side of the T and the other side of the T that connects to the specific balance sheet structure you've looked at so far. So again, not very much math here, mostly logic, but we want you to understand how to map the things that businesses do into the financial statements that you've been working with so far.